Malacanang blames the COVID-19 pandemic has taken a heavy toll on income and job opportunities in the country. Thus, more Filipino families consider themselves poor. The Social Weather Station says there are 10.9 million self-rated poor families. This is based from their recent survey conducted from April 19 to 27, 2022 through face-to-face -face interviews with 1,440 individuals nationwide. This is slightly higher from the December 2021 survey, which showed 10.7 million Filipino families consider themselves poor. SWS adds in the 10.9 million self-rated poor families in April 2022, 1.5 million families are newly poor or who were non-poor one to four years ago. Further, 43% of Filipino families rated themselves poor, 34% said they are borderline poor, while 23% felt they are not poor. SWS explains that self-rated poor families increased in Mindanao and Metro Manila. Meanwhile, the survey also found 7.9 million self-rated food poor families in the country, or 31% families feel food poor. Acting Presidential Spokesperson and Presidential Communications Secretary Martin Andanar said, much more actions needs to be done to lift Filipino families from their poor condition. That is why the Duterte administration adopted a 10-point policy agenda for the economic recovery. Such policies direct all government agencies to ensure projects and programs are aligned. This includes strengthening healthcare capacity, accelerating and expanding the vaccination program, further reopening the economy, and expansion of public transportation capacity, resumption of face-to-face -face learning, reduction of restrictions on domestic travel and standardization of LGU requirements, relaxation of requirements for international travel, among others. Rosa Licoz, UNTV News and Rescue. We serve the people. We give glory to God.